Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Day six of Ramadan. Uh, today we talk about one of the most important obligation in Islam, and that is salah. After the obligating, um, after the obligation of attesting the faith, which is shahada, the oneness of Allah, tawheed, there is no greater commandment in Islam than this obligation of salah. It is the first act which we will be held accountable for on the day of judgment. If it is good, we will be saved and we will succeed. But if it is not good, we will be doomed and we will be amongst the losers. May Allah protect us. So therefore, salah should be our number one priority in Ramadan and outside of, outside of Ramadan. Without Salah, we cannot fulfill our purpose of life. In Salah, we shut off the world around us to talk directly to, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, displaying our complete servitude and humility to Him. It is one of the best ways to remember Allah, thank Him and attain his love. Aqimis salata li dhikri, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Establish the prayer for my remembrance, for my dhikr. And that is the dhikr about which Allah says, Allah bi dhikr Allahi tatma'innul qulub. With the remembrance of Allah, get the hearts their contentment, their satisfaction, their atma'inan. So salah separates us from the disbelievers. الْوُسْلَةُ بَيْنَ الْعَبْدِ وَالْكُفْرِ تَرْكُ الصَّلَاةِ The Prophet ﷺ says, Salah helps us when we are stressed or feeling down, filling our lives with peace and comfort. Salah is our you know, oxygen without which you will die. If you do not perform your Salah, although you may be alive um, you know, in, in a physical sense, you are spiritually dead. Let's ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to make us establish our prayer. Rabbi ja'alni muqeem as-salati wa min dhurriyati. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us in Quran. Oh my Lord, make me somebody who is steadfast in salah. Steadfastness means not only in Ramadan, remember, but out with Ramadan as well. Wa min dhurriyati, not only me, but my children. So what I leave and bequeath and uh, uh, something that is my legacy behind is for my children to pray. So I need to work on them, train them, educate them, you know, pave the, the, the path for them and give them uh, uh, all these um, tools and necessary requirements for them to continue praying even when I'm gone. وَمِن ذُرِّيَّةِ رَبَّنَا وَتَقَبَّلْ دُعَا Oh Allah, accept my dua. Ameen. Jazakumullah khair.